starts now. Hi, everybody. James Sabolski here. Let the Stanley Cup playoffs begin. Well, we've been waiting for this one all day long, and here we go. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to those plays. Let's get after it. Hand is the puck. Shot. Turn the side with the glove. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Still scoreless in this one. The Penguins win that offensive zone face-off. Providence has got control of it now from their own end. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Slip feed. Oh, how did that stay out? What a save by Helberg. Unloads it. Denies him with a save. And look at this. They really watch it up the intensity here. And the defenders take possession. as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Providence has got possession here in their own end. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. With possession along the wall. Quick pass to Toborowski. Knocks the puck loose. Just wide. The Bruins gain control of the puck. Scores! His first of the playoffs, and the rookie gets it done. Well, every athlete wants to establish themselves as a playoff performer. Well, the rookie, an impressive start to leaving a lasting impression. Getting on the board first in game one of a series is always what you want to do. You want to have that start where you have the urgency and you put your opponent on their heels. Well, step one, check mark. Providence has been pushing hard here early in this first period, and look at that. Their hard work pays off with a goal. Uh, there's so many mini games within a game, James, and to start the period, you can look at it as one. And they have certainly dominated in that area, and yet when you start the game like this, you dictate the pace, and that's exactly what they wanted to do, and send a strong message to their away opponent that when you come into our barn, you're not going away with a W. In order to dictate the tempo of the game right at the onset of it, you want to make your opponent think and hear you coming, and that's what he does with that first hit. Taken by Toborowski. The Bruins have the puck in the corner. Puts it on net. Oh, he gets all that one with the pad. Well, this save is all about the compete to find the puck. I mean, it's a battle, and you're trying to outbattle your opponent. You can see him bobbing up and down, trying to find the puck. He finds it at the last minute, reacts, and makes the save. Referee's hand shoots high in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up. Here comes the call. Such a tough penalty to take when the game's within reach. They're looking for the equalizer. Now they find themselves shorthanded. The Bruins get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. Well, first power play of the game, James. You want to start with possession and look to get shots to the net. It is the tone setter. And the play continues. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. They move the puck out of harm's way. Battle along the boards. Looks like there's a delayed penalty being called here by the officials. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Not a great penalty to take. I mean, you're down a goal. You're trying to fight to get back in this game, and now you find yourself shorthanded. time on their side. What an opportunity, a long five on three here, and this can turn the momentum, switch the entire game in their favor. They have to find a way to execute. Up to the challenge as he gets his pad on it. Sets it in front. Oh, they couldn't complete that. Good clearing attempt to breathe. They've really got him on their heels here now. Here's a shot. Oh, it stays out like a save. Impressive. 
impressive to see a goaltender just out battle and out will his opponent to find the puck. Can they capitalize here in this power play in the offensive zone? Well, the time is now, James. They have the power play, but they're up against a team goaltender. They have to take advantage. Providence has got it, and they're on the attack. Made the stop on that play. Helberg's made himself look big on that save and almost made it look easy. That's a high shooting percentage shot because it's coming from a great A scoring area. Strong penalty killing execution as both sides are now back to even strength. That's a great power play unit, James, and they're not going to feel great as they head off to the bench and it gets killed without the score. But they can keep their heads held high as they had a lot of execution. They found ways to get scoring opportunities on that. Scores! And that's his first goal of the postseason ever. And he'll take it. It's much needed, too, James. You get to the playoffs, you want to make sure that your teammates have trust in you and you have trust in yourself because you want to be an impact player. That's a nice start. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Providence has got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Nice job tying up his opponent. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Shot. Oh, how did he get a goal on that? What a stop by Hilbert. The Bruins have put a lot of pucks on net here in the first, and they continue to lead. Wilkesbury Scranton's got it in the defensive zone. Passes the puck over to Fadoon. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. And he slides it quickly to Renouf. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. Comes up with the stop. Moved up ahead after a nice pass from the right wing. Puts it on net. That's off a stick. Puck picked up by Walsh. Wilkesbury Scranton's gained possession. Let's it rip! Scores! And that's his first career playoff goal, and he'll take it. Uh, he will, James, because the playoffs is just a different beast. It's not regular season anymore. You want to be an impact player. You want to make a difference, and he does tonight. Wilkesbury Scranton's got to be feeling good after getting that one, Cheryl. Well, they're certainly feeling good about themselves now, James. The body language has changed. They're on their toes. The confidence is lifted. It's a much-needed offense to get them within one. Right in the open ice. That one's picked off. Nice zone entry from the left. McLaughlin's got him to the side. Moves it to a left. Picking up momentum inside the neutral zone. There's a shot. That goes wide. Di Pietro's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's shown a new energy over these last few minutes. They got one back, but they still need one more in order to tie. Sporrell's got the puck in his own zone. Slides the pass over to Toborowski. Fires it on net. Oh, he comes up with a stop as he got the glove on it. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Providence has got the puck in the defensive end. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. Good reach of the stick to knock the puck away. Kashkovich has got it into offensive territory. Oh, and it stays out as he gets a piece of that one. Providence has been very impressive to watch in the offensive zone, and they lead it here in the first. Ensigns wins it in the offensive zone. Oh, a clutch save! Taken along the wall by Callahan. And he takes the feed. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. He got all of that hit on the play. Ensigns works the puck in his own zone. Here's a shot! Oh, what a save! He stopped it! Wow! Oh, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. As play continues, this place is still present and they're cutting loud here now. Wow, oh, this is all about fan appreciation for that huge save. And man, does this ever feel good. You know, you feel it right through you when you know you've made that big save and everyone around you is appreciative.
The setters will glide into the dot. Providence has won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Here's a shot. Gets in front of it. Penalty coming up here. Up by one, and you take a penalty, applying some pressure to the PK unit here as a power play as an opportunity to get the equalizer. First chance of the night here on the man advantage. Well, they earn this a power play, James, through hard work, and it's an opportunity to even the score here. They need to find a way to execute and get back to the even score. They stopped that one. Oh, turns it aside once again. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. Fadoon stick handling in his own zone. Takes the feed from the left side. Takes control of the puck. Blocked in traffic. A chance to get it out of the defensive zone. Gets it out of his own end. Play is blown dead with the offside. Canestroza's known to bring the offense for his team. Saboral's defensive game is his primary focus, guys, but don't be surprised if he jumps in on the attack. Let's see if one of these stars can give their team the upper hand in this matchup. Back to you now. The Penguins gain possession along the wall. Helberg's opted to hang on to the puck for a face-off. Just moments away from the resumption of this power play. They're ready to drop the puck here for this face-off. Back underway as he wins the try inside the offensive zone. Made the stop on the play. Every coach is going to tell you, get in front of the goaltender and take away the... Oh, he stopped it! What a save on the play! And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save incredible, James. And there it is, stopped by Hilberg. Just here in the late stages of this frame, it's 2-1. McLaughlin's won the draw, and they'll look to set up. And that goes off a body. And now he moves it quickly to hit Estroza. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Horvath looks as if he was going to get by the defender, but that extra move took his face away, and it goes the other way. Quick feed to McLaughlin. The Bruins gain the zone. And that's blocked from someone in front. The Penguins move the puck in the defensive zone. They've got numbers here. He grabs the puck here at the point. Scooped up along the wall by Avatonato. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. The Bruins have controlled this game here in the first period. More shots, more goals. And off the draw, they win possession. Walsh has got it in the defensive end. McLaughlin's got it now deep inside his own end. Hooked away and forces the turnover at center. Carries it across the line. Good fight for the puck along the boards. That's it for period number one. Second period action coming up in moments here on EA Sports. Fans, take a look to the sky. The home team settler is loaded with prizes and in your way all intermission long. under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? Helberg's been so dialed in right from puck drop and really the only player that has been. He has been overseas, yet they're trailing. But they still have an opportunity to get back to the games of him. Providence has got it in the end zone. 
The Bruins cross the blue line and are on the attack. I don't think anybody was hanging onto the puck after that hit. Great feed from the left side. The Bruins have it from their own end. Magnus moving the puck through his own zone. Quick shot! Watch a save! And he slides it quickly to Walsh. Here's a shot! Just gets a piece of it to keep it out! Wow! Under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Lots of time left in this period. We've got a 2-1 game. Providence has got the puck inside the offensive zone. Great stop by Hoover. The new is taking it from his own end. Gains the zone through the middle. From the point, they take control of it. Poked away at center by Fadoon. The Bruins gain possession. Providence has got the puck. And he takes the dish. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Wilkesbury Scranton's looking to break out. Takes a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. There's the whistle as the puck stopper likes to hang on. The Bruins continue to lead here in this second period, looking strong offensively. Providence has got the win off that draw. The Bruins have it now. Slotted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Gains the zone. And that's knocked away by Ragula. All going wide. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's got it on the line. And a solid stop on the play there. Rebound control is critical in the game of hockey. Putting it to the corner, and now the offensive player has to hound the puck. Providence has got control of it now here in the offensive end. And some good footwork to kick it away. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's got it in their own zone. Gaining steam here on the attack. Turned aside with a glove by Di Pietro. got the decided edge in the shot department here tonight in the second period, and they continue to lead. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's won the draw, and they'll go to work. And that's deflected off someone in front. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Centering feed! And that chance is blocked! Return pass. Shot! Wide of the net, and missed! Oh, man, that is so frustrating. He gets the look that he wants. He gets to the right spot on the ice, and then he just misses. Tries to feed it over to Walsh. Oh, big time save by Helper. Still lots of time left in the period. Providence has got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Goaltender covers up and will get a faceoff. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Providence has got it in the offensive zone. They score! Small time Well, this is a play it looks like they worked on practice. You get the win, and then the quick release shot buries it home. Providence has extended the lead to two goals now here in the second. They look good tonight. Well, they look great, and I'm not surprised by the score. I mean, they've dictated the pace of play, but it's more about how they've dominated in the shot selection. They put a lot to the net, James, and they've been rewarded for it. Here's a chance! Stops it again! Helberg's giving his team an opportunity to stay in the game. One save after another. He has to been under siege. I mean, his save percentage says it all. They have to share off their defense and stop chasing the game. Providence has done a nice job of generating pucks on net, and as a result, they lead here in the second. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Big 
time defensive play. Through center along the wing. The Penguins grab possession to the puck. And he gives it over to Shea. And he takes the pass. Takes the shot. Nothing. The Bruins have it against the wall. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Fires it. Turns it away. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The Bruins have all the momentum right now, leading by two. The Penguins are in transition. Shot! Oh, that goes off the mask, and it stays out. Passes on over to McLaughlin. Passes it in front. Blocked shot. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Oh, a slick stop by Helper. Well past the midway mark of this period, Providence has got a 3-1 lead. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's won the defensive zone draw. Here they come. Makes his presence known on the ice. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's got it along the wall. Providence has got the puck in their own end. The Bruins take Scooped up by Smith. He got all of that one. Oh, that sounded like a car crash against the wall. The Bruins will play it from the defensive zone. And it's a quick pass to Mercula. Sends a pass over. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. Essence is caught for the trip. And he's going on a trip to the penalty box. Another power play opportunity coming up here as they set up at the baseline. Well, it's been a frustrating power play. They have to find a way to open the ice up. If they can have quick puck movement, they're going to cause the coverage to stay low. And that quarterback up high can let one rip. Looking to break out here on the power play. Across the line from center. A field in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's got him along the wall. Scores! And with that, I believe that's his first career playoff goal. Well, it is, James, and it's going to feel pretty good because there's a lot of question marks around players who can't get it done in the playoffs, and he finds the back the net. That's going to give him a big confidence boost to send him through the next game. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's looked way more engaged since the start of this period, Cheryl, and now they're starting to get some of the rewards. Well, you can certainly feel the energy. There's two trains of thought here. There's a physical side and there's the emotional side of the game. Both are connected. Here's a chance to clear the defensive zone. And clearing attempt is a big success on that play. On the attack along the boards. Scores! And the rookie gets his first playoff goal. Well, it's so important to manage the expectation and the nerves when you're a rookie, and that goal is going to do nothing but give him confidence. Let's have another look at this, James. Yep, yeah, there it is. I mean, look at that net front presence, just the screen and the goaltender battling to find the puck. That's exactly what you need in the paint on the power play, and as a result, they score. Providence has got to be feeling good about their game here as we head towards the intermission. Already up by two now, late in period number two. Well, let's face it, it's been a hard-fought battle, but that last goal, I mean, it puts him in a great spot heading into the intermission. They've got to find a way to elevate off of it and keep the foot on the gas. Reads it perfectly and comes up with the takeaway. Well, that play didn't go his way, James. He tried a little bit too much there. When you're trailing a game, I get you want to try and do a little bit extra and try and create some offense, but unfortunately, that didn't work out. Here in the late goings of the period, Providence has really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. The Bruins win it. Now a quick pass to Rich. Denies him with the save. He 
Here's a shot! There's another stop! Lee's out battling his opponent right now. He is so dialed in, he's trapped in the puck, making save after save. It's about time this team starts working in front of him. Providence's offense has been in full effect tonight as they continue to lead late in this second period. Takes the puck at the point. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Centers are set. Face off ready to resume play. They win the face off here in their own end and take possession. Handles it along the blue line. Can't hang on to the puck after taking a knock. Oh, just a great heads up play by Renouf. Smith's been really impressive tonight, in particular on that last play, James. I mean, the wherewithal to keep your eye on the prize, eye on the puck, and just redirect the puck to the net. I mean, that's attack mentality, and he has it tonight. And he slides it quickly to McLaughlin. Along the half wall with the puck. Misses over the net. The Penguins scoop it up along the boards. Fadoon's lugging the puck. Here they come up along the wing. Picked up by McLaughlin. Intercepted. Providence is ready to go on the attack. Takes the feed. From the right side, they gain the zone. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Smith. Off the left wing and into center. Oh, at the buzzer, a big save. Two periods down, one more to go. Both teams have time to get a refresh, and we'll be back for period number three. I'm fired up. I know you're fired up for this, too. Welcome back. James Sadowski ready to bring you all the play-by-play. -play. And they have dropped the puck here in the final frame. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line, and this one for regulation time, Cheryl. How do you view it? The Marlins are behind in this game. They just haven't been on the clock. They haven't had their legs under them. They haven't been urgent, which means they've been chasing the game. Well, the official is right there to make the call, and no question about it, it's tripping. Anytime you take someone's feet out from under them, you're going to head to the box for two. I love the 1 3 1 set on the power play unit they used earlier. Listen, they had success, they scored, but there's so many variations off of it. I love the bumper position that can act as a decoy, allow the puck to get through to create those seams and open up those shot attack lanes. Reads it perfectly in the defensive end. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Wilkes Free Scranton's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Moves the puck along the half wall. Misses a golden opportunity there. Sometimes there's pressure on players when they get into that prime time scoring area. And because of it, they rush the shot. And I think that happened right there. The Bruins played along the wing. The Penguins will kill off a few extra seconds now. Abbott Donato's carrying it ahead. Puts it in deep. The Penguins kill off the penalty. Finding ways to get it done, James. That's what the PK unit does here, and they give their team life as they're still within reach of this game. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's gained possession along the boards. The Penguins take it along the wall. Shot, and that's blocked. Textbook poke check by Smith. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's got the half ball. Turned aside with the glove by Didiatro. Grabs the puck in the corner. Three four check by Sunder Rukov. With some open space here in the neutral zone. And that slides right out to center ice. Puck grab by Walsh. The Bruins will play it in their own end. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Hilbert's got the puck we'll get a stoppage in play. Well, and this is a huge play right here. Just recognizing the tempo of the game and being able to dictate it. He's done it all night. 
still plenty of time left in this frame. The Bruins lead it 4-2. Gets a piece of it to make the save. Quick stop, right into the net. You gotta get a shot on that, James. You get in tight, you have an opportunity in that scoring area, and you don't even get a shot on net. Not good enough. The Bruins get a hold of the puck. And now he moves it quickly to McLaughlin. Grabs the puck. Way too much congestion blocks that. The Penguins play it along the boards. Hard hit frees up the puck. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Blocked in traffic. Providence is going to play it from the corner. For point blank. Herbert's going to hang on for a whistle. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. 4-2 is the score. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's taking possession in their own end. And he's ridden off the puck. The Bruins gain possession. Takes a shot. Oh, what a stop! Frozen. Providence has been going in one direction all night long, and that's to the net, and they lead it in this third. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. Into the offensive zone. From off the wall and onto his stick. Here's a short pass to Johnstone. Puts it on net, and he's got that one. In front, and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Some last-second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's won it. Now they'll go on the attack. And that's blocked in traffic. He was locked in there. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Providence has got possession of the puck. And he maintains possession of the puck here. Oh, what a save on the play! Wow! Oh, that's grand larceny, James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save. It's a shot, and that doesn't reach the net. Takes the pass. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Moves it quickly over to Ensigns. Stop by the goaltender. Well, this save looks easier than it actually is. I mean, when you have a shooter right in the slot and you know that you've got to find a way to get your glove on it, you've got to be fast, you've got to be quick and show those reflexes, he does that and makes the save. And they win the offensive zone faceoff. Now let's see if they can capitalize. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Quick pass to Tomorowski. Slides the puck across to Savorna. Fires it on net. Too many bodies in the way. Gets a hold of the puck from the right side. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. Moves it around along the half wall. And he gets in front of that. In front of the net, and the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Providence has been on a roll all night long, and they continue to lead in the third. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's grabbed a hold of the puck. Tries to get it over to Kopanen. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Wrist shot from the slot. And the kid comes up clutch here in the postseason. Oh, he does it. James gets his first playoff goal. I mean, it's incredible the confidence that this should give him. I mean, the pressure and the stakes are high, and he delivers.
Wilkesbury Scranton's finally shown some pushback in the third, and they've got a goal here. It's amazing, James, how it can change within the game, and that happened right there on that left sequence. Getting to the middle of the ice, fighting for possession, and that's a sense of urgency late in the third. The Bruins gain control of the puck against the wall. And now it's over to Rapula. Here's a shot, and he makes the save. What a sequence. I mean, he has been outstanding making consecutive saves. I mean, his defense, they got to start playing. In a head-to-head -head matchup tonight, who had the better performance? Saboro's so got my vote in this game, guys. Neither player we talked about earlier has been able to get on the board, but despite that, I think he's been engaged and worked hard out there. Wilkesbury Scranton's through center and now in the offensive end. Takes a shot, comes up with the stop. Providence has got a hold of the puck. Slides it quickly to Abandonado. Wilkesbury Scranton's got the puck against the boards. And that's knocked away by Henestroza. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Well, this game is wild, James. End-to-end -end action. Let's just forget the defense, shall we? And just go with the goal calls. Handles the pass. Wilkesbury Scranton's got the puck along the wall. Big time defensive play. Toborowski's swooping in on the attack. Providence is ahead in this game because of the production of that second line. And this is a nice luxury to have when you've got depth on your bench. You can look down it and really create some internal competition for the ice time. The Bruins get a hold of the puck along the boards. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Moves it to Toborowski. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. A big face-off here inside the offensive end. Providence has got it, and they're on the attack. And he can't hang on after that hit. Wilkesbury Scranton's got the puck along the boards. Sends the pass over. Centering feed. Can't connect the play. The Penguins gain control of the puck. Feeds it on over to Kopanen. Less than 60 seconds left here in the final frame. And that's broken up. Providence has got the puck in the defensive end. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. The Penguins pick up steam and are on the attack. Great hand-eye contact on the play. And that's kicked out from the scrum. Walsh is moving it ahead.